Live from ABC7, this is Eyewitness News. When you go on vacation, what do you do with your dog? For many owners, a kennel is one of the last places they want to leave their pet. New at 5, our consumer specialist Rick Romero shows you there is a website that gives pet owners to get, gets them together with pet sitters in your area. Sherry Benjamins is going out of town and is very particular about who takes care of her eight-month-old golden doodle Nona while she's gone. The minute I picked her up as a puppy, puppy I started thinking about what are we going to do in April of 2012 because I knew I'd be flying to Boston for my son's graduation. Marcella Warfield is a fellow dog lover and she makes her home available for dogs whose owners are on vacation. Just for the love of animals, I was watching friends' dogs and uh, working with the rescue, and we were doing it and, you know, just kind of uh, fell into being a business. And Aaron Hershorn and Kareen Nassim recently started a website that gets people like Sherry and Marcella together. I have her toy, I have her blanket, okay, I have her food in here. Karina and Aaron have dogs of their own and know that leaving your loving pooch in a kennel is not a pet owner's first choice. So they created an alternative called DogVacay.com. I liken it to a dating site because basically the dog owner can assess the dog's needs, what their needs are also, and search through hundreds of people in their area to find the perfect fit. There are not quite hundreds of people opening their home for a doggy vacation just yet. The website is very new. But it is free to use while pet sitters pay a service fee of 3 to 10 percent for each job. Sitters set their own rates, which can be 15 to 80 dollars a day. We see a small one bedroom apartment with a casual dog lover is going to be 15 or 20, 25 bucks, whereas a professional trainer with a sprawling ranch is going to be more expensive. The average rate is about 30 dollars a day. Dog Vacay offers a money-back guarantee and provides comprehensive insurance for the sitters and the owners. Now, before you send your dog off on vacation, and because you love them so very much, there are a few things that you want to do. First of all, you want to schedule a meet and greet with the sitter. That way, you can take a good look at the home and the yard. And if it's a place you want to use, then when it's time for your vacation, make sure you pack your dog's food so there are no stomach issues. Also, it's a good idea to bring a leash and maybe their doggy bed. And finally, don't forget a favorite toy or an old t-shirt of yours, something that will remind them of home. When I met Marcella and I learned that Nona would be in a home and have some space to play in and uh, really be more personalized attention, it was absolutely perfect. And it's a perfect business for pet lovers like Marcella. It's a home environment. Um, I'm not away from my family, and I can still do what I love. This is Rick Romero, ABC7 Eyewitness News. And we've put information on the pet sitting service on our website, abc7.com. Click on the See It on TV link. That's it from us here at 5.